Philosophy's YouTube channel and podcast. Today's discussion is going to be on the key to longevity, the key to a youthful older age. And I'm going to begin by saying there's not some magic pill or some cure or some special cream, you know, that's advertised to you that can have even remotely the same benefits as resistance training, which can be weightlifting or some kind of weight-bearing exercise, even a body weight exercise. It, resistance training as a whole is a key to longevity. Now let me explain to you. Skeletal muscle comprises about anywhere from 30 to 40% of muscle mass and is highly adaptable. However, it is prone to be compromised by aging. Now, when I say that, there's a lot of different factors that affect your skeletal muscle mass, like your hormones, your diet, your activity level. But on average, it will decrease decline as you age if it's not stimulated. It sounds like common sense, but people honestly forget that. Muscle mass is honestly critical, so losing it greatly impacts your physiological processes, such as metabolism, signaling including disease and infection resistance, and your overall quality of life. Losing significant muscle mass can increase your risk of injury, as well as greatly reduce your ability to do functional activities. Think about this. Do you really want to be struggling to check the mail when you're older? person? Do you have goals of playing with grandchildren? Because I'm probably not going to have children, so I might, you know, uh, you know, play with, you know, nephews or nieces. But, you know, for the sake of this discussion, if you have goals of playing with your grandchildren or your children, these things are not possible if you don't have at least some healthy muscle mass. Now, there are two diseases, or there are actually two specific problems that occur when you age if you have significant muscle mass loss. Sarcopenia is one, and extreme frailty are just byproducts of severe muscle loss and a lack of resistance training over time. It can make your older years very painful, very tiring, as well as, you know, overall shortening your lifespan. Now, I always tell people this. Progressive resistance training is beneficial for all ages. It's been empirically proven to reduce age-related muscular atrophy on specific metrics such as muscle mass, muscle mask, muscle mass, neuromuscular performance, and cellular and subcellular adaptations. Now, all progressive resistance training means is that you increase the amount of resistance or the weight over time to challenge your muscles. At all ages, resistance training reduces stress. It helps with hormone regulations and it can help to boost your testosterone. Some food for thought here. One pound of muscle burns approximately 50 calories at rest. I'll go as far as saying you simply can't sustain a healthy fat loss regimen without proper resistance training. Think about it like this. Every type of exercise program should virtually have some form of progressive resistance training. There is a reason why every sport from high school to collegiate, whatever, whatever sport you name it, it could be soccer, it could be football, it could be track and field, it could be wrestling, could be jujitsu, could be basketball, baseball. They all require preseason weightlifting and resistance training. Um, before the season, but also during the season. And why do you think that is? It's to reduce injury. Your body can take more collision and more, you know, brutal force with progressive resistance training. That's the whole reason why athletes who do contact sports are always weightlifting because it's strengthening your bones, it's strengthening your tendons, it's strengthening your ligaments. And look, I'm never the type of person to discourage people from doing any type of physical activity, but I'm sure you've come across people who think because they do 30 30 minutes on the bike or they walk for half an hour or whatever it is they assume that they're getting the appropriate exercise now I'm not gonna say that they're not because everyone has goals and we don't know where that person was they could be obese etc but you are not gonna have a sustainable weight loss and fat loss program without some kind of progressive resistance training. If you're walking 30 hours, 30 hours, if you're walking 30 minutes a few days a week, throw in 30 minutes of weightlifting and you will watch your body transform. Now, I'm gonna be doing different videos on plyometrics and doing different videos on weightlifting exercises, like compound exercises, but just take this into consideration. It's really never too late to do some kind of resistance training and I just wanna remind you that is going to be 
be the key to your health as you age. You know, if you didn't spend much time working out, it's never too late. Think about that. You know, this whole idea that you're supposed to do all of these things when you're young is completely nonsensical. So I hope, you know, this kind of fueled you and gave you some value. I'm going to be coming with more and more heat. So stay tuned. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, and much appreciated because you're already here. You might as well hit that. So take care and, you know, blessings for your day. Thank you.